could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm uh, Chi, and I play bass in the Deftones, but not very well. No, not very well. What do you mean? Like shitty. You play shitty? Yeah, pretty shitty. Yeah, the album sucks. Fairly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sucks, yeah. In the other way, I think it's a really, really cool album. Oh, thanks, man. How did it go recording the album? It was typical Deftones album. You know, fighting, bullshit. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting. Yeah. Problems, you know, but then a lot of, you know, a lot of good results. I think that's the only way we can do it, you know, so. Two years ago, you played at the Walt Rock Festival. Uh, you were headlining and mm -hmm. uh, and Chino was like f boost up and drugged up like with Mike Patton or something or he was just kicked out or mm -hmm. what happened? Actually, he was drunk, but he was in a really great mood. And so we were all really looking forward to doing the show. And a security guy out of nowhere mm. mistakes him for some kid that was crowd surfing yeah. and yeah. beats the shit out of him. And <laughs> so, I mean, that pretty much destroyed his whole mentality. And after yeah. that, he just, it, was, it wasn't that he was really boozed up or drugged up. It was more that, you know, his mentality, yeah, he was just really bummed out. And he just didn't understand what the fuck was going on. And, you know, we were trying to encourage him to do the show for the sake of not having a riot occur but I mean he was in no shape really to do the show and um, so I mean it was just uh, kind of a shame all the way around but I mean I think you know in hindsight the show was kind of funny yeah. you know yeah, it was kind yeah. of punk rock yeah. and I mean the fact oh, yeah. that he even did it was I don't know he ran off the stage and he didn't even mean to and he fell like that guy from Dumb and Dumber or something mm -hmm. I looked off and it was tall too and oh, I looked yeah. down and I was like hey, look. <laughs> is he alive? <laughs> yeah so you know I, I thought it was great because in the beginning i thought oh man this is gonna suck but then i i, I gave myself over like this is one rock show this is one hell of a rock show this rocks yeah we've always been more punk than than anything else yeah. anyways at least in our mentality or something so i mean i kind of was laughing i mean it, it, the people that are there probably never see that deftone show again mm -hmm. you know yeah, what i mean yeah. so and lo lots of people like more like a, a farmer people like ah oh, this sucks but when you really are into music and you see deftones uh, often play it's like it's really uh, exceptional gig so well yeah, it, it, we're not one of those bands that runs through the motions or has the same show every night mm -hmm. you know what i mean sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's like Oh fuck! What what happened? Have they been up for a couple of days, or what? What's going on? Or what? You know, what I mean. So at least you get something. You know, there's a, a a rock side of our band that is more. You know, I know a lot of bands these days are playing along to computers, are playing along to stuff, and then you know they have this perfect show every time, and then our guys are like, you know, even the people that work for us are like, fuck. Whoa! Last night, what happened? You know, yeah, yeah. you know, we're like, hey, fuck, we're a rock band. You know what I mean? We have nights where, you know, we're just off nights, and some nights that are amazingly exceptional so and now finally on tour again headlining uh, here in Holland which is a great thing we saw you on Pink Pop already this year was excellent show how are the reactions so far oh good I think that the, the bill is really amazing and so kids are really getting their money's worth you know I, I don't think even Tool comes over here that much and so to have Perfect Circle and us and Revolution Smile I think people are getting a really good show you know so it's cool and, I, and I'm happy to be playing with bands that are inspirational and I actually want to watch you know it's it's a drag when you have you know you're on a tour where you kind of just sit on the bus and wait to come in or you mm -hmm. you know do your own thing and then you do the show it's a lot cooler when you have like you know yeah. an excitement level of watching other bands and getting fueled and inspired by them and stuff so are you inspired by a perfect circle for instance I'm not really m sure which member is a perfect circle but <laughs> in a way yeah. yeah yeah I'm trying to figure it out bald people excite me <laughs> 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 about the new album uh, it's called Deftones the simple Deftones is your fourth. How did the re recording process go? You told me a, a bit fighting and stuff, but really, how did it really go? Terry Date produced it also with you together. Yeah, yeah. Terry's like a sixth band member. He's pretty much going to be a part of the you know thing the whole time. So it was it was a typical Deftones album. I mean, we got a lot done, and then there was lulls where you know we can't force it. We're just not one of those bands. Um, we we went in with the intention of writing 30 songs and all this shit, and we're gonna get it done really quick and all. And then we wrote maybe seven or eight, and then just kind of stagnated for a while and tried not to force anything. Then another three songs came, and then Chino really took a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no really way about it, and none of us could put put a gun to his head and force him to write lyrics or. Melodies. What happened then? I don't know, I put the gun to his head and he just sat there. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. No, no he just, he just, took I don't know. Took a while. Yeah, he took for days. I was like, fuck it, I mean, I flew home. I was like, all right, see you later. All right. Tell me when you finish it. You know. So you took your time for the record this time? We didn't want to. We had pretty much the album in the can for a long time and he, he just, it just kept dragging on and on and on and, uh, 
the thing about him too is then when he gets things done you hear it and you're like oh fuck that's really amazing and so it's like you're like that was really amazing we could have done that in like four months as opposed to like eight but yeah. you know don't tell him oh i tell him all the time oh yeah yeah he's getting fucked up all the time no no he just he, he's very he's a perfectionist too kind of and he's very meticulous and he doesn't want to i don't know he nitpicks everything and he and he just doesn't really feel like doing anything unless he's complete and then he'll just go through yeah. two weeks of fucking writer's block or something and i'm like mm -hmm. fuck man you know the new record is, is really influenced by by some 80s music the cure and smiths and mm -hmm. also a lot of faith and more stuff i hear for on the on hexagram for instance the, the first song on the record mm -hmm. yeah I, i think a lot of those he he wears his influences on his sleeve just as much as the rest of us but for sure he was more the 80s new wave guy mm -hmm. than uh the rest of us and um definitely faith no more you know anyone from our genre at all says they weren't influenced by faith no more is yeah. a fucking liar so you know they're just it's such an amazing band it's impossible not to get influenced by them so like i think everything Patton does is really really great to be honest you know what i mean i like Patton a lot mm -hmm. like he's a fucking really funny guy yeah. i think that everything he does is you know really high quality a lot like what maynard does probably but some of his stuff like phantomos or some of that other stuff is a little far out there for me you know what i mean i don't mind I'm saying it's just I listen to it and I'm like yeah it's pretty amazing but I'm like it's not anything I want to put on at home yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> what's the drummer he's he's the white guy he's the only white guy yeah. the only one that's like a union rule yeah. you know what I mean we tried just to have a whole brown band and they were like yeah uh, you gotta <laughs> add brown a, band. you gotta add a white guy yeah. you know, so. so you're the brownie he's the whitey so. yeah yeah it's a he uses the white you use the brown yeah yeah okay <laughs> The new single is called Hexagram. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard you have a great video clip with that, isn't it? With with, with members of uh, AFI and Every Levine in it, isn't it? Uh, Tell me the real story. Then. If they're in it, I haven't seen them. Okay. No. no. Just heard, just heard really? It. Yeah. That's the weirdest rumor I've ever heard. That's okay. really cool. Okay, spread it. Okay, yeah, yeah, they're in it. Actually, the singer from AFI is making love to Avril cool yeah it's really great i mean he's fueled by goth and she's just you know she's i don't know you know it's very very erotic okay what, what's the video really about it was it was done in a big warehouse you know what i mean it's actually a skate park but we didn't have any people skating in. it's pretty cliche mm -hmm. and it's just us playing and it and it's amazing it's really i think it's a really great video it was done in six takes okay. the director darren is amazing you know he just captured everything quickly and did it and it was i, don't, I think it's a really great video Yeah. Also about the Minerva video. Where was it recorded? Is what it was like in sort of desert with with only uh, with with uh, uh, big uh, lights. Yeah, that was like ten ten miles from the Salton Sea, maybe ten miles north of Mexico, okay. out outside of LA. So, you know, four hours outside, and it was, I mean, it was cool, but it was the middle of the desert, and so mm -hmm. around. Great, great, and it was windy, or was it was it like machines doing the wind? No, man, that was that was real wind. You know, I mean, it was fun from like six till one one in the morning and then from one till about six that morning it was kind of like fuck man it's freezing yeah. the wind's blowing everywhere <laughs> everyone's wearing parkas and yeah. you know glasses yeah. and masks if, except for us and we're like oh yeah this is great yeah. so did your band produce it yourself or the video clip or was it just directed by somebody else yeah it was directed by someone else i mean we always have a say in it And a lot of times we'll come up with an idea for a video or something, but we always run it by, you know, you got to get it directed and whatnot and this and that. So just kind of a co-op type thing. This was mainly that director's idea, and it was just the best treatment that we'd read. So, But, I mean, playing to playback, and it's just not that exciting for me. <laughs> you know. What's the most exciting thing for you then? I like collecting all the gay porn all over the world that I can get and sitting on the bus. And What are you doing here in Rotterdam? Go to Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah, I know. You guys could use a little more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you staying? Are you staying in Amsterdam or just driving through uh, all Europe again? Yeah, yeah, we're leaving tonight for Munich. Uh, we, you know, got in last night, yeah. leaving tonight. So we're we're not really having time to stop in anywhere. So. Shit. Yeah, yeah. And then you have the opportunity to, to see all the countries, <coughs> and then you can. No, we're not seeing much on this tour. Yeah. <laughs> okay, support like a perfect circle. Why did you did you take them with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we chose perfect circle. I mean, we're all fans mm -hmm. and think that it it's a good bill. So I think it's it's just it's cool that we can bring out a band that we're fans of, mm -hmm. and as opposed to like a band that's going to be worth a whole lot more tickets and a bigger act and commercial. 
but the show's not going to be as credible and not as you know yeah. fans may not walk away like wow it was an amazing show so man. i'm looking forward yeah me too <laughs> you're gonna try out the new amp or later on maybe later on. yeah it's either that or get really stoned and eat some mushrooms so i don't know man. <laughs> don't take the mushroom before you're gonna play it well i don't know yeah it might be cool yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, la you know what? Actually, last time we did a show with Tool over here, I took mushrooms and watched their whole set, and was like, oh, that was cool, you know? Yeah. I can't make any promises. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, man.